Welcome to the Armory Combine. Today we're going to go over the rules and regulations of the Mondo 55 meter dash. The Mondo 55 meter dash is a sprint at a track meet. We want to go over the rules and regulations so that you all know what to expect and how to perform at your best. The first and most important thing that differentiates the Mondo 55 meter dash from your normal 40 yard sprint at a local combine is that this sprint will be triggered by a starting official with a gun. Once that gun goes off, the clock starts and the Finish Links cameras will time your final performance when your torso crosses the line at each data point. The official will say, on your marks. Once the official says on your marks, the athlete can do whatever they need to do to prepare to get into the on your marks position. Your hands must be behind the white line, whether you are performing a three point or four point down start. The official will not say set until every athlete is still in the on your marks position. Once the athletes are still, the, uh, the official will say set. There will be a pause and go. We're now at the finish of the Mondo 55 meter dash. Along the way to the 55 meter dash finish line, there will be various data points collected by the finish links cameras. The athletes only have to think about sprinting as fast as they can through the 55 meter finish line. The finish links camera will mark your time when your torso crosses the finish line. The next event we will review is the standing long jump. Athletes feet must be behind the takeoff line. If an athlete's foot is on the takeoff line or over the takeoff line, they will not be allowed to jump. The standing long jump is very simple. There's a counter movement and a jump into the sand. When Andrew finishes, He's going to exit the pit to maintain social distancing to his right. And he's going to walk back along the 55 meter straightaway into his place in line. Now, it's very important when we're measuring, the measurement will be placed at the furthest point back that hits the sand. In this case, the back of the shoe. It will be measured with a laser technology for distance to ensure complete accuracy and eliminate human error. Next, we will go over some common mistakes and faults of the standing long jump so that you're aware of what to do and what to avoid. On the next jump, Andrew is going to land with his hands behind his heels. If your hands land behind your heels, your hands will be measured. That's the furthest point back. So whatever part of the body is the furthest point back is the area that will be measured. We're going to go with one more because sometimes athletes are trying to extend themselves. They land and then they fall backwards. Go ahead, Andrew. If they fall backwards, again, whether it's a foot backwards or it's a hand backwards, the farthest point backwards will be the point that is measured. Andrew, you can exit the sand appropriately, maintain social distancing. So when you're doing, completing the standing long jump, it's very important that you know the rules of where to begin for takeoff and exactly how and where the event will be measured. The next event we will review is the Pro Agility, also known as the 5105. To start the pro agility, the athlete will center themselves on the middle white line. If the athlete is not centered, the official will tell them to center before the event can begin. The athlete will then place either their right or left hand down on the tape. The hand must be touching and whatever hand is down, that is the direction that the athlete will go. When the athlete moves, the system will detect that movement 
and automatically start the clock. We will now review the turns of the Pro Agility. The outside hand must touch the tape. If the inside hand touches the ground or the outside hand does not touch the tape, it is a disqualification and you will have to go again. The same rules apply for every turn. The outside hand must touch the tape. If the outside hand does not touch the tape or the inside hand touches the ground, it is a disqualification and you must redo the event. The final time of the pro agility will be timed the same exact way as the finish of the 55 meter dash. The moment the torso crosses the line, the clock stops. The next event we will review is the medicine ball power toss. Athletes will enter the shot put circle. There will be a mat for athletes to place their knees. Athletes will pick up the medicine ball. They will be able to complete a counter movement and explosively throw the medicine ball as far as they can, landing in a push-up position in front of them. Next, we will go over ways to become disqualified. Disqualification in the medicine ball power toss occurs whenever the knees leave the ground. Disqualification and disqualification. The moment the medicine ball hits the ground, an official will mark the spot. That spot will be measured using the same laser measurement system that was used in the standing long jump. This concludes our run through of the Armory Combine. We cannot wait to see you attend and compete beyond official.